Hey everybody, it's EMDSD14R coming to you live from the Keystone State. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are enjoying the sunny day. It's very nice out. Um, this video is about um, how to use a particular pass that probably most people don't know about. Um, it's called the One Day Independence Pass, and basically it means ride on and on. Now the One Day Independence Pass is a special pass that you can purchase on uh, SEPTA Region of Rare or basically at any major at any SEPTA station that has a ticket um, ticket booth and it allows you to ride on the subway, the L, Broad Street Line, regional rail line, buses and trolleys for one day. Um, some people if they take the train and they're only going to be on the train maybe once that day going and coming what they'll do is they'll buy a ticket. Now going and coming that's fourteen dollars then if they had to take the subway in the city that's another five dollars so yeah that adds up but what you can do is you can actually buy this pass on the train or if you request it it's eleven dollars and it enables you to ride all of the SEPTA systems for one day without paying any additional money um, and there's also a pass for a family so there's one day family independence pass so if you have a family and you want to go down to the zoo and see like the animals and the tigers and bears and stuff you can get one of these passes. I'm not sure of the price on that one, but it should be about the same amount. Now, how does this work? You basically are on the train, and you want to go and go to the city of brotherly love for a day, but you don't want to pay any extra money. Well, you ask the conductor, I like a one-day independence pass. He gives you it. He hole punches the date and the month. This one was for actually February the 3rd. This is me and my dad's ticket. And you basically, um, if you want to take the L, you go up to the ticket counter or the ticket booth or a little window there, transit window I should say. You show them this, they let you in, and that's it. Um, and then if you want to go to a bus line, like the 44, show this to the bus driver, you're good. You don't have to pay any additional money. And then uh, let's say you wanted to go to the Norristown line. Show this to the driver, you're good. Broad Street line, you're good. Mark Frank for L, you're good. Any other lines, this would not work for. So if you wanted to go on Paco, no. Two separate companies. This is for SEPTA only. All SEPTA buses and trolleys. Even the, even the uh, trolley buses that use uh, overhead electrical power. The trackless trolleys, I should say. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, $11 for these passes. Um, they're, they're very convenient because you don't have to pay any extra money. Um, and uh, it not allows you to go on the buses. Now the bus routes, there's two bus routes. There's a city route and then there's a frontier route. City, the city route, the city, city system is in within the city limits or a little bit outside of the city. And then the frontier bus lines are the ones that go out to King of Prussia, Exton, and all those other areas. But those are still SEPTA, those are still SEPTA bus lines like 204 and the 92 that goes to Westchester. Those are SEPTA bus lines so you can use these on the city and the frontier bus lines for SEPTA, which is the suburbs, which is the suburbs basically. And um, it, that's very convenient, so you don't have to pay any money for tokens, you don't have to get more money out your pocket, so um, it's very good to get these passes, and I don't think no, I don't think too many people know about these passes. I recently just found out about them, but they are very convenient and they're very helpful. Uh, now this pass here, there's also another pass, it's a uh, weekly trail pass. This basically works for one week so if you know you're going to be going to the city all week long why go and spend money on tickets and tokens when you can just get a pass for one week. These are $53 I believe and uh, you can and there's different zones on them like zone 4 and zone 5 so depending on which zone you're in it, it depends on if you have to pay a little bit of money with the ticket but if you get a zone 5 that's for anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Everything. Yeah. Zone five. T zone five covers everything, so it doesn't matter which zone you're in. You don't have to pay. If you get a zone four, you have to pay when you go zone then five. you have to pay when you go into zone five. My dad's helping me out because he knows better than me. Um, but this is a zone five uh, ticket right here, and it works for one week on the SEPTA regional trolley L Broad Street line. Um, all buses. All buses. Norristown line. So anything that, that anything that has to do with SEPTA, this works on. Paco, no. NJT, no. Amtrak, definitely no. So this is a weekly. 
and I don't have a monthly pass here, but basically a monthly pass works for the entire month that you have it. They go for about a hundred and not hundred hundred and seven dollars. Actually, a hundred and ninety. Mom, tell your mom it's a cross county. Yeah, cross county, cross county monthly goes is a hundred is a hundred and seven dollars. Now, cross county means you cross between two different counties while you're on your trip. But you can't go into Center City. Oh, but you can't use them in Center City. No, you have to pay two dollars or something to go down there. So if you want to go into Center City, you have to pay two dollars, even though you have that ticket, because they're not made for. They're just made to take you to the limits of the city. Yeah, they're just made for the city limits. My dad's, yeah, he's very good at that. So. Now, now the, the monthly zone five. Trent, the monthly zone five allows you to ride on anything for a month and a day after that month. In other words, if the month ends on a Sunday, you can ride up till 10 o'clock on that Monday. Mm -hmm. But then you have to have another ticket, uh, another pass, or a fare. Or a fare to get back home. To get wherever you're going to go. After 10 o'clock, you can't use that monthly anymore. Okay. After that month, after that month in a day. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. And that's, I think that's 190 Hundred eighty-five dollars a month. Yeah, or, so or anywhere monthly. Yeah, so they're not cheap. They're not cheap, but, but it's cheaper than but getting tickets every day. It's or, cheaper than getting tickets or every it's day. It's even yeah. cheaper than a weekly. Cheaper than a weekly too. This is fifty-three dollars a week, so yeah, it's going to add up. So get and, a monthly. And it's also cheaper than a than a uh, cross county. Very true. Now you have a trans a trail a trans pass. That's strictly for the cities. Okay. You can't, you can't come, if you want to come out of the city, you have to pay a fee to come to each zone. But the, tra the trans pass monthly, I don't know how much that is, but it only allows you to ride the subways, the buses, the, 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 the L. Trump. Only thing is, everything is in city limits, you can do that for a month. If you come out to city limits, gotta pay. you got to pay, I think it's a dollar fifty or, or, uh, it's a, I think it's another dollar fifty or seventy five cent each zone, something like that. Okay. Well, it, so that's kind of cheap too. I mean, you know, if you have a, if you have a trans pass, you can still come all the way out to zone five, but you have to pay. But it's 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 not like if you had a zone five trail pass. There's a difference between a trail pass and a trans pass. Trans pass is strictly for the city. Trail pass is for everywhere except it goes, even down to Delaware. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the whole whole nine yards with that. Um, so, uh, hopefully this sheds some light onto these passes here uh, and the other ones. My dad was very helpful. That's my buddy right there. Yeah. So uh, thank y'all, and uh, I'll be seeing y'all later. So hopefully this makes y'all journeys a lot easier and saves y'all some dough. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot, and I told this to my dad recently. In the next year or two, SEPTA will be running service all the way to Harrisburg. SEPTA will be running uh, service all the way to Harrisburg. Amtrak is planning to install a third track on the, on the uh, Harrisburg line. Which is the Keystone Corridor? Um, that's also that's it's mainly that's what it's mainly known by the Keystone Corridor or the Harrisburg Line. So they're actually installing a third track in the next year to two, and they're going to be and SEPTA is going to be extending service all the way to Harrisburg finally and Harrisburg International Airport. I almost forgot that they're going to be they're going to put it all, they're going to extend service all the way to the airport at Harrisburg. So that's going to be pretty cool. So you won't have to switch trains anymore. You can just take a SEPTA train. But the thing is, what if you have to go to the bathroom? Because those trains don't got bathrooms on them. They don't have any bathrooms. That's, I, I hope, well, maybe they'll make another train for that with a bathroom because that's a long trip from Philly all the way to Harrisburg on a SEPTA train. But yeah, that's just a little bit of snippet for you. And uh, hopefully this helps. You guys be cool. Peace.